Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an interesting macrame plant hanger pattern to share with you. This macrame is a combination of some basic knots, wrap knot, double half hitch, alternating half hitch and square knot. To make it, you need to prepare about 53 meters of 4 millimeters cotton rope. The length of the plant hanger is 78 centimeters and it can hold many pots from 10 to 20 centimeters in diameter. Let's get started. You need to prepare 53 meters cotton rope, a 5 centimeters ring and for beads. You need to cut the cords like I share in the screen. First step, you use the ring and 8 cords, 3.4 meters long. Fold these cords in half then you pass them through the ring. Next, you use another cord, 0.8 meter long and tie a wrapped knot under the ring. First, you fold one end of the cord to make a loop, place the loop under the ring. Then you use the longer end of the cord to wrap around the loop until you have a length about 3 to 5 centimeters. You pass the wrapping end through the loop and pull the other end to bring them inside the wrapping area. Cut off the excess cord. Second step. You create for straps. You take four cords and make a diamond pattern by tying double half hitch knots. First. Tie a half of double half hitch to cross the two cords. Then you tie one double half hitch knot for each side. Next, you tie a half of Lark's head knot for each side. For the other half of the diamond, you'll start by tying the other half of the Lark's head knot for each side. Then you tie one double half hitch knot for each side. You connect them by tying a half of double half hitch knot to complete the diamond pattern. The distance from this diamond to the wrap knot is about 8 to 9 centimeters. Repeat the process to create three diamonds on the remaining straps. Next you create four similar diamonds at these underparts. However, with the second row of diamonds, you will insert a bead in its center. and then tie the other half of the diamond like the way you did above.
Do the same with the remaining straps. The distance from the first diamond row to the second row is about 8 centimeters. Next you create the third diamond row like the first row without beads. Third step, you create a cradle to help the macrame can hold pots. First, you use 16 cords, 1.5 meter long. You take 4 cords for each strap. Fold these cords in half and attach to the sides of each strap. You attach them by tying reverse lark's head knot. Do the same with the other side. Next you make diagonals from the center to the sides. To make the diagonals you will tie the double half hitch knots. Please kindly note, when you tie the double half hitch from right to left, the cords will be tied clockwise. And from the left to the right, the cords will be tied counterclockwise. Then you make three more diagonals for each side. Next you take two middle cords and tie a half of double half hitch knot to cross them. And you continue to tie the double half hitch knots to make a diamond. Next you tie three more diagonals from the sides to the center for each side.
Next, you tie alternating half hitch knots with the cords of two sides. You tie until you have a length about 9 to 10 centimeters. Then you repeat the same with the other side. You repeat the process with the remaining straps. Next, you connect the pieces together by tying square knots under the alternating half hitch knots of the sides. After finishing the square knots, the pieces are connected together like this. Next, you tie seven more square knots under each square knot. Last step, you use one cord, one meter long and tie the wrap knot to fix the bottom. Please note, wrap evenly and firmly. Cut off the excess cords. After all, this is the finished macrame plant hanger. Its length is 78 centimeters. When you put any pots in, it will be shorter. This macrame hanger can hold a variety of pots from 10 to 20 centimeters in diameter. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please a quick like comment really does help me out. I also made many macrame tutorials before. You can check them out in my channel. Please, don't forget to subscribe my channel to update new videos as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.